No, she can't mate. Yeah, fine, fine. Oh, she's quite a night, eh? A little, little, yeah. uh, little nipply out there, but yeah, you know, mm. yeah. You smoke? Um, no. Oh, oh. Uh, right on. You, where are you from? Uh, uh, away. Away? Oh, jeez. Lots of, lots of places away. Just out of town. Out of town. Yeah. Out of which town? Uh, no, uh, oh, like Halifax, around there. Around there. Yeah. Right on. Do you know Bill? He, uh, well, he didn't really live in Halifax, but he was there on vacation like four or five years ago for a weekend. No, no, don't know him. He's really beard. Always, uh, he always had that dog with him. No, no. Oh, huh. What kind of car you drive? Uh, I'm walking. Jeez. It's a tough goal. DUI, eh? Yeah, well, that's good for me. Well, have a good one, bud. It was nice to meet you. Good chatting with you. Yeah, see you later. Oh, hey, man. What's going on? Uh, what's up, dude? Hey, uh, is it normal for people to just start talking to you at the urinal here? Oh, yeah. It's Victor County, bud. Beautiful night, eh? Where are you from? It's Victor County, bud. Come on and stay a while. Put on your shoes and grab some booze, it might just make you smile. There's lots of things for you to do, there's lots for you to see. Pull up a chair and buy a drink, the next one, it's on me. Good evening, and welcome to episode number two of It's Picto County, it's bud. And now, County. your host, Ray Tauterberg. How's she going? How's she going? What a show we got tonight. We have the collective. Yeah. Collective. And Alex Terrio is going to do some talking with us. Yeah. Good fella, good fella. Yeah, we got a lot of talent in this county. Yeah, our house band here is called the Green Bins. Hello. Speaking of talent, they know some people with talent. They do. Ah, they got talent too. Yeah, it's a good thing about Picto County. A lot of good talent around here. A lot of bands, a lot of local bands that are good, past and present. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about what do you guys think is the best band, past or present? Well, uh, there's a we've got a tremendous amount of talent in Pictou County, mm -hmm. and all of Nova Scotia is we've got nationwide musical legends. But for me personally, when I started playing guitar, my favorite band was Pie Dog. Uh, yeah, love that band. <laughs> yeah, Pie Dog. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Old school. Yeah. What about you, buddy? Well, um, yeah, no, there's uh there's lots of good bands around. Here's this one. Ah. <laughs> Not this guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. First yeah, time. What are, you, what, are you, what are you gonna do with me? <laughs> ah, you're alright. No. Uh lots of good bands around. Um, all kinds of talent. Uh that's evidenced every weekend. There's like the toss up of like which show do you go to right because totally. there's so many good ones you can check out but um i always uh i always like to check out the kitchen criminals i think they're wicked <laughs> yeah and uh they got a good sound and, uh, that. they got um they're releasing uh their album releases tomorrow actually yeah. so uh if anyone's around picked i'll check it out because uh it, it, it'll be good we got our tickets for that i'm gonna say stanfields they're my right. favorite right now I'll say. Yeah. They, they uh, influenced me a lot to start my own band. They from, like, all of them from here? I this think scope? so. Yeah. Why didn't anybody say these river rats? Jeez, boys. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, there. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, no, this is the whole band, except me. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. 
I didn't want to bring it up. <laughs> it was not shameless. It was a good self-promotion. <laughs> and uh, my favorite would be Bubbles, so Bubbles and the Shit Rockers. Yeah. Yeah. So I suppose if anybody wants to advertise something, you can let me know and uh, we'll advertise it a bit. Just like this t-shirt I'm wearing here. It's my buddy's. It's called Homies First. If you want to check it out, you can find it on Facebook. And uh, anybody else wants to advertise? We're looking at you breweries. We like beer. So if you want to advertise, we like that kind of thing. I'm not really... Yeah, that's right. Take silver at. So uh, yeah, I'm not really a good t-shirt model, but I'm a good beer model. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think I told people on the last episode that I've been living away and I came back about six years ago and people always ask me, why did you come back? And what the hell is that kind of question, right? Of course, I'm coming back. It's great. So the question for you fellas, based on that little preamble, was where's the best place in Pictou County to live? That's a spicy question. Uh, well, let's, let's say if I could live anywhere. In Pictou County. Yeah. I, I would live in Salt Springs Park. Because you can, you can catch your fish there. You know, but, but then you'd get a lot of visitors. So yeah. All right, I'll share it. I'll share it. But I'd have to have like a secret. Fans. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Johnny? So, uh, yeah, anywhere in Pictou County. Well, anywhere in Pictou County is a good place to be. There you go. It's, it's, they're all, they're all, all good. The angles. I, I wouldn't live anywhere, but I, uh, well, look at me. I'm young and I didn't hop on the out west train. I'm still here. <laughs> so, um, but no, if I had to choose, it'd be, uh, be good old Mount Tom. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful rolling hills and big skies, rivers and fields, deer and fish. You just want to get more, as, What more do you need? You just want to get as high and as you can. There's a beer store and it's only like five or ten minutes away. So yeah, 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 yeah. Matt already said Salt Springs. I'm a Salt Springs boy. That's where I'm from. I love it out there. But if I had to pick a different place, it would probably be West River Station. Yeah. Or Sutherland's River, just because it's... East Picto, yeah! <laughs> All right. Southern River. Sutherland's River, right? You said Sutherland's River, right? Sutherland's River, out yeah, in the country yeah. somewhere. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Well, uh, I, was, I was born and raised in Picto, and I spent some time away for uh, a lot of years, and uh, I'm, I've been back here for a while, but, and I'm living in Picto again, so I got uh, no reason not to say Picto for that answer. I, I love that place, good people, good vibes. <laughs> Oh yeah. And I'm gonna stick with Marigamish. He's picked up. Anywhere along the water, really. It's good yeah. stuff. Good stuff. All right. So, yeah. Since I lived away, I've seen a lot of things. I've seen bad drivers. Everywhere you go, there's bad drivers. So don't think it's just Pictou County that sucks to drive. Right. All right. So. I don't like negativity, but you know, we're just gonna go along because it's a hilarious topic. Driving in Pictou County. Don't get me started. <laughs> <laughs> it's a four-way stops. No yeah. one knows what the hell they're doing at all. <laughs> when a light goes out, nobody knows what to do when they, the street light goes out. They break out. down. <laughs> <laughs> they give up. What do I do? I'm freaking just... out. <laughs> Why does driving turn us into a-holes? Like you're just driving, you're all a nice person, and then all of a sudden somebody does something you're like mother. It's just, just a different person when you're driving, aren't you? It's like a sixth sense. Except for Cole. I mean, 
Johnny Blotto over there. He's just this nice guy, all the time. Hey, you've never, Ricky you've Bobby, never you can call with him. Me, hey? <laughs> <laughs> so you guys got any pet peeves for driving? Get, get get out of the left lane, like please, yeah, so please. Not, not messing around in that I left got, lane. I got places in Pictou <laughs> County to be. Mount Tom. Got to get yeah, to Mount Tom, but you're in my way. To Mount Tom Move. Got to take the highway. You guys are all right with everything else driving wise? Oh, no. Everything. Driving <laughs> <laughs> seen that, that first time. Yeah, yeah we've, we've seen that. Yeah. Yeah. He just goes to sleep for four hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's rough, it's a rough uh, drive home. Yeah, from Pixo <laughs> in, in Glasgow. <laughs> sleep for four hours. It's some rough drives home, too, with these guys. Yeah. Signal lights. Uh, yes. Yeah. I don't think they put them in the I new hate, cars. I hate signal lights. Is that what you mean? No. Yeah, yeah. I can't stand when people use them. <laughs> well, I got a whole bunch here. <laughs> so I'm just going to list them off. Speeding up when I pass. Yeah. I'm trying to pass. And then they. Mm. And then it's like whenever you do that, you're always looking in to see who it is. Like it matters. Like. Because it's like different, a different demographic you're going to get more pissed at. Mm. That's called. <laughs> Everybody is equal when it comes to driving. Yeah. Um, driving in the wintertime when you're coming across like a normal road and people are always on the center line because you can't see it underneath the snow and they're hogging it and they won't get over it. Oh. <laughs> that one drives me nuts. And then you're just hoping that they're in the ditch later. I mean, <laughs> shouldn't be doing that. I'll call help. <laughs> no, they're they're going the other way anyway. So. <clears throat> and then parking. What about parking? There's some good stuff there, right? Eh? Go to Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Sideways, <laughs> diagonally. I saw this guy outside here parking. He had this big truck, and he was parked across two parking lots. And I, oh, big yeah. Al's parking lot. This big. <laughs> you know what I mean, Temperance. Yeah, but yeah, sorry. Did you move it? I was tuning my guitar. Did you did you did you move your truck? Oh, well, actually, yeah. <laughs> I totally did that. I took two lanes because I was loading here earlier today, and then pulled over and he See, pointed it out. I said, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Do you ever have those people that you have the bad parking spot and you take a picture of them and post it on Facebook? You want to shame those guys? I got a picture of you, buddy. There's a lot of, sh there's a lot of, uh, <laughs> a lot of Facebook oh, shame yeah. going on these days. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame to be They'll on. They'll call you right out. <laughs> and uh, Stellarton, eh? It's uh, not a good driving going on there, Main Street. What's up with this new stop sign? I mean... I, I yeah. don't know. I don't know. It, yeah. Everyone goes through it. <laughs> like Stellarton in general. Yeah, actually, it's getting, it's getting better. Oh, oh. Sorry. Whoa, whoa. I'm sorry. <laughs> we're, we're supposed to be nice to pick the county, but... <laughs> yeah, people drive through Truro and other things. Not... Stellarton's good and friggin' Westville last time, right? <laughs> Brian likes it. Oh, I'm going to have a bunch of people banging on my door with torches and pitchforks and... <laughs> He lives in Trenton, everybody. Yeah, Trenton Road. Trenton Road. <laughs> I was just saying, like, uh, when you're driving in Stellarton, everyone thinks that the crosswalk is everywhere and there's jaywalking going on. That's what I was worried about. But... What? They put that stop sign in for the crosswalk. And nobody goes to the crosswalk. They just walk. That's another one. That's one. People what? just walk out and they don't look. What? But what? when they come out, they go, like, look out of the corner of their eye. But they won't acknowledge you and just hope you stop. What what about the street light by the Sobies and the Stellarton? The one on the corner there that they have to replace every three Does or four months. Does it ever months. work? I yeah. mean, I mean, at this point, like, there's got to be a better system. Because <laughs> they gave up on the one in New Glasgow there like, by needs. They just put another stop sign in there. Yeah, yeah. They're just they're just like these, driving these guys keep running there. into the thing and running, knocking it down. So. <laughs> I mean, whatever, whatever makes the traffic flow. I'm not fussy, but whatever I'm keeps you happy. I'm trying to get to Mount Tom. 
<laughs> you know which one I hate? Like, if anybody's not from Pitta County and watching this somewhere else and they're thinking, what the hell, we don't care about this crap. They're not going to get Pitta County is driving, <laughs> but driving down Fraser's Mountain Road and driving up by the spot or the acro lounge there, and they're allowed to go left on the red, and they're allowed to go right on the red, so they're both going in. Can you go left on that red? Uh, they do. Why is that other little <laughs> red stop sign? Why is there's another little red light down low? Like, that's for me. I can't go left. I, I, just, I do. But I do. Yeah. <laughs> we all do. Yeah, we all do. Everybody admit it. You go left on that Everyone red. else did it. Yeah. I mean, there was no but, cars. Yeah, well, I mean, there's, yeah. So my problem is that when they do, they just swing across the other lane. They don't go into their lane and then move. Oh, so it's like the guys that are going up think that they got the right of way <laughs> over the guys that are going the other way. That's a tough and one. And <laughs> this is how not sexist we are. We're calling out the guys, not the girls for the driving. It's, 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 always, it's always guys that are doing it. It's like, look at Buddy over there doing all these bad driving things. It's never, it's never a girl, right? It's always Buddy or look at him or, yeah. That's right. <laughs> and one more, one more. So when you're coming out of McDonald's or Tim Hortons or something, and there's two of you, you're both going this way, and you're sitting there waiting, and then somebody comes, Buddy comes behind you, and it's you're trying to look it, right. It's always but then Buddy. It's Buddy. Yeah. It's Victor County, yeah. Buddy. Yeah. So he comes up, and he comes, so he blocks your view. And I'm trying to see, but I've been there way before he did, and he comes up, and I can't see past him. I'm like, you mother. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so he wrote a song about it. <laughs> of course. Yeah. We're going to show you the video for the first time ever, unless one of you bastards leaked it. Nope. 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 All right. Nope. So uh, this is called Road Rage. We'll get her up.
Hey, sorry about that back there. I noticed you following me. You probably seen my signal light not working. Yeah, it quit on me last week. Oh man, don't even worry about it. Oh, oh. I didn't even notice. That's, oh, yeah. awesome. it's cool, fam. Oh, I'm That's sorry. That's all cool. All right, have a good one. So yeah, use your signal light. Use your signal light. Yes. It's a killer. I hate that. Yeah. All right. So we do a segment called Out in a Boat. It's just when we go out in the town and we visit local businesses and such. So this week we're going to Sean's, or we did, and we're going to show you. And I'll just let him explain it because he's better at it than I am. Temperance Jones here, reporting live. We are out in a boat at Sean with Sean McLean. Yes. Thanks for having so us. So Temperance, does that mean you don't drink? I try my very best not to. <laughs> right on, good boy. This is Sean. Which was formerly Lolly's, right? Formerly Lolly's. Because okay. a lot of people remember it. My mother had a store here for uh, a long time. The store was actually in business for 35 years, but um, anyway. It's what a unique and totally amazing space. Thank you. What happens here? I've been sort of in business for about uh, two and a half years with this, with this project. For a long time, we ran it as a special events space, and I kept getting special events licenses. But finally, last year, I, uh, I got licensed as a beverage room. People either rent it for functions, for like milestone birthdays or retirement parties or whatever. Uh, we even had like celebration of life, that kind of thing here. Cool. And small, uh, small weddings. Or um, musical events. Because like this coming Saturday, the collective are going to be here. This space is as it looks, unique in appearance and function. Exactly, yeah. And it's constantly changing, actually, because I'm kind of a obsessed buyer, so. Yeah, okay. So. <laughs> well, I see you've got everything. Yeah. From the smashed piano piece to the baby head to the artwork. Yeah. Where do you find? I just, a lot of it comes off Facebook or Value Village or antique shops or auctions. And then people just even call sometimes because like a lot of people have a lot of stuff that they don't know what to do with. So, but yeah. okay, if you want, do you want to do a little tour? Let's do a little tour okay. around. The space changes depending on the function, right? So like somebody might see this video and say, how are the collective going to be there on Saturday night when the place is full of furniture? So under here we have, I got these cool chairs at Staples one time they were having a sale. So basically what happens is some of this gets like moved out and then it turns into like a concert setting sort of thing, right? Or if people want it to be looser and I mean Michelle and, and Lee and Kyle will tell me how they want it, right? Um, they can have it so that they can stand at bars or whatever. So, but I'll show you some of the artwork. This piece is amazing. It, thank you. Um, this is by Colin Cook. And Colin Cook is from Union Center. And he had a show here. He, actually, he had two shows right before Christmas. And he sold quite a few of his pieces. And um, they were sort of very sensual, very bold. And so he wanted to do something for me. Uh, for having hosted his show. It's got great color contrast. Yeah, from this piece in the corner, this, that is actually woven. This wow. Is, this is woven and it's by a woman named Dawn McNutt. She lives in Little Harbor. This case is the only thing that's left from my mother's store that's here in the space. And a lot of people will remember this case. This is where she sold China dolls when China dolls were like a, <laughs> were a thing, right? But it makes an awesome bar. So Sean, is this space available for rent? It is, it is. It's actually getting booked up 
and it rents a lot seasonally. What's the capacity here? Capacity is 75, and that includes uh, staff and musicians. Okay. Well, that okay. guarantees a cozy show no matter what oh, at yeah. that number. That's oh, great. yeah. I wanted to have a place that was independent to perform. Yeah. And so it took me a while, you know, but... Um, and then it just grew from that, and it, it's... Uh, Continuing to grow. It is. Sean, thank you very much for having us. And for the folks out there, what's the best way to get a hold of you for any event rentals? Okay, so my phone number is 902-921-0400. Nobody even does that anymore. Good. <laughs> That's yeah. a tough one. But I still do. I still do the phone. <laughs> anyway, the other thing is, if you like my page, it's called Sean A Rentable Space on Facebook, then normally anything that's going on here, if it's like lounge nights or uh, events, even if it's events, if I rent it to somebody else and, and they're putting on a show, I'll put that on my on my event space. So um, yeah, cool. So, that, so that's really the best way to get a hold of That's me. great. Thank yeah. you very much. That's a pleasure. Appreciate your awesome. time. Awesome, thank you. Okay, All All right. Right. see you later. So this is probably going to be the easiest interview I've ever done because, well, I've only done two before this, but it's, uh, this is the easiest. This is by far the easiest. The other two are so hard. Right? So this guy is really good at interviews. He can probably just sit here and talk. I don't have to ask him anything. Here we go. Alex Terrio. Of course. Woo. Hey, Tepperts. How you doing, brother? Nice to see you, man. Ray, good to see you, brother. Me too, but oh, good to not see supposed you. to shake hands with the corona thing. Oh, here, well, we'll knock boots. Hey, here, one sec. Oh, no, I'm just <laughs> yeah, I ain't <laughs> knocking boots with you, bud. Knocking boots, brother. That's what it's all about. <laughs> yeah. How's things? Good, and you? Good, man. Not so bad. Love that driving video, by the way. Oh, that was thank wicked, you. eh? Yeah. That was amazing. Holy smokes, yeah. <laughs> Should release that as a single. I think we're going to release everything that we did, like sketches and stuff, that, as, as different little single things. Nice. So, yeah. Share nice. them up. Wicked. Wicked. Yeah. So uh, I heard, not I heard you do it, but I actually heard on the radio while you were doing it, you were interviewed Tiger Williams. Yeah, Tiger Williams, <laughs> former uh, Maple Leafs enforcer. Uh, yeah. You know, the, the best thing about interviewing hockey players is you watch them on TV, right? So you know a little bit about them already, you know, before you get to talk to them. But Tiger's a beauty, man. Oh, he, he's uh, a beauty. Yeah, he's a beauty. Uh, so when Tiger came in to uh, do the interview with me, he was, uh, he was feeling a little sick, flown all the way across from Alberta to do a little interview, to do a, a charity golf tournament. He got up at six o'clock in the morning, they rushed him to a radio station, um, and he was of course sick, he wasn't feeling the best, and, and then I started talking about hockey fights. Oh man, his mood <laughs> just went way up, he loved that stuff. So did mine. Yeah, it's exactly, nice. right? Hockey fights. <laughs> Anyone who thinks there shouldn't be fighting in hockey, boy, I'll tell you. That's a pick the town county discussion <laughs> for sure, right. yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. They might be right. No. <laughs> um, yeah, so who else have you interviewed that's super cool? Honest with you, man, my favorite interviews are the, are the folks in Picto County. You it know, uh, not-for-profits, nice. festival organizers, and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, those guys work so hard, and it's so nice to see behind the scenes. But, I mean, in terms of, like, guys I've had the privilege of interviewing, uh, Guy Lafleur was a big one. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, you're a Habs fan, aren't you? I'm a big Habs yeah. fan. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Any Habs fans this today? Oh, there we go. I knew I was gonna get all these one. I knew I was gonna get one. Yeah. Uh, but go uh, yeah. there you go. Oh yeah, you got a Pens fan in there. You guys should talk after that. I know show exactly who that guy is. I know why he's a Penguins fan. <laughs> okay. Um, Begin Lafleur was funny because um, when I was three years old, uh, my parents both worked at a at a supermarket in Halifax. 
And I used to run around the aisles. Everyone knew who I was, right? Because I was this little kid that always went to work with my parents. And Guy Lafleur was doing an old-timers game at the Halifax Forum. And he, of course, didn't know who I was. So he saw me in the aisle, picked me up, and brought me to the old photo booth. Do you remember going to a store and getting your photos developed? <laughs> yeah, well, that's where my dad was working at the time. And he's like, I found this kid running around in the aisle. <laughs> and my dad was like, holy shit, that's Guy Lafleur, <laughs> right? So it was crazy. So we got my picture taken, and Guy Lafleur signed a little jersey for me and everything, and that was cool. So I showed Guy that picture when I interviewed him a couple years ago. And of course, he didn't remember, but I told him the story, and I asked him to recreate the photo with me, <laughs> right? Because that, that was big on the internet back then, right? You recreated <laughs> photos, but uh, Guy said no originally. And then after the interview, when uh, we were taking pictures, just like throw on social media and stuff, uh, Guy actually went and he tried to pick me up. <laughs> and I'm a big guy and Guy is built like a brick, you know what? So it just looked hilarious. And I was wearing a PK Subban jersey at the time and eventually. So I, I put it on social media and it was picked up by TSN and Bar Down. That was pretty cool. That's cute. Yeah, that was wicked. Yeah, he's yeah. a good guy. I don't think he can do that now either, just picking up kids in stores. So. Yeah. Well, I, again, right back in the 90s, right? That's a little different. You're allowed. And that's something that's so cool about Pictou County, too, is it's the same thing as Halifax was 30 years ago, right? But it's so much better. You see everyone in the store and you're like, hey, how's she going by? Good, good. How's the weather? Right? You can have a full conversation with every single person you see in every single aisle. And that's the way it should be, right? And you'll still not know the weather. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So the volunteer work you do, lots of that, eh? What do you got for us? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, well, Pictou County and volunteering is amazing because, again, you know, when it comes to, to the vibe in Pictou County, and I, I'm not originally from, from here, but my family's from here, so that's what we'll do the cop out, right? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got, yeah, my father, a little bit of Cape Breton, a little bit of Pictou County, but... Uh, you know, volunteering is so important in Pictou County, and the amount of money that we raise locally is incredible. So uh, I did the tally up in 2018, totally in, in like, you know, you've got the Relay for Life, you've got the Walk the Walk for Autism, you've got the Dragon Boat Races, you've got um, uh, different uh, charities that are pulling together um, these events, these concerts that a lot of uh, local musicians play at to raise money. And they raised over a million bucks just in Pictou County alone. And that is insane. That's insane. If you think of the population of Pictou County and the amount of money that is, that's incredible. And, and we don't even have money. Well, exactly, right? Who knows where it comes from? But we all get together and we all help each other out and that's the best part about it is, uh, yeah. and that's why I volunteer, so, and that's why I mean. you moved here. Exactly, yeah, that's why get I moved here. Get some of here. that money. Yeah. <laughs> I moved here because of the people and, and, and how I can make fun of bad drivers and stuff like that. It's beautiful, yeah. No, we yeah. can. You can't. Yeah, oh, I'm not allowed to do it. That's right. I'm probably the guys you make fun of, actually. No, and I end up in the ditch a little bit down the road. But I always look, and it wasn't you. Okay, good. Was it temperance there? Yeah, was it, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's the parking lot for sure. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. I made yeah. sure to look. Yeah. So you got some donuts. Yeah, well, so, um, don't, well, you don't have them with you. No, I don't have them with me. Oh, a couple of I'm sorry. Donuts. I let everyone down. We, too, we can do a big Oprah them. thing and put them underneath your chair. <laughs> yeah, you don't even have to pay taxes on them if they were there, but they're not. So I don't you know, know if you want to eat Oprah them. Oprah has all the donuts. <laughs> you get a donut. You get a donut. Little duct tape under the chair. They can reach on there. Oh, look at this, Mom. <laughs> Tastes pretty good, huh? They're like, man, this guy's donuts suck. Yeah, exactly. Well, <laughs> like a little dry, a little under the chair for 24 hours. Upside down. It might taste better that way. You never know, right? You never know until you try. <laughs> you gotta try. No, but, uh, <laughs> but they are good so if you want to try eating them. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, yeah, so I, I started a business with my wonderful wife, Mary Frances, uh, last year. Um, wife. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Yeah, well, it, I don't know. It's, it's wonderful working with my wife because she kind of, well, she does everything and I just kind of, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, it's called Fry-A Donuts. Um, she makes them, you eat them. Yeah, well, exactly, right? It's, it's like everything. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, we, we, we make them from scratch. It's actually a pretty cool process. It's a couple of family recipes combined. Um, and we, um, it's a three-day process. We make them on Wednesday, roll them out on Thursday. They're ready for the market Saturday morning. Um, and I mean, it's, it's kind of like if you've ever done, like back in the 90s and the 80s and 70s, it was okay to 
put a big pot of cooking oil on the stove and leave it sit there for 45 minutes and then dip a bunch of donut batter in it. And go pick so, up a kid at the store. Yeah, exactly. And come back and you got some donuts waiting for you. But um, no, so if you've ever done that at home or with uh, at your grandmother's house or something, that's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it tastes like. Um, and we sell them at the market and it's been going really well. Um, of course, when it comes to the farmer's market, it's just a giant social gathering of people with musical talent, the uh, artisans, I mean, the artwork they sell there. They've got an amazing array of people that, that do great things. It's all local. And um, that's part of the fun, just being able to be a part of that uh, environment at the farmer's market and, and to really flourish with all these other great businesses that are local. It's wonderful. Hear that? Flourish? Yeah, uh -huh. flourish. Oh, that's the motto. Uh -huh. Oh, look at that. <laughs> The Glasgow. Yeah. I'll Glasgow. drop forward together a little later on in the interview. That way we get the Well, double. we'll do it together. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Forward together. A little together. forward in the uh, show. Nice, right? right. Yeah. Right? We don't even yeah. have to now. Yeah. <laughs> but we still can. Nah, that's good, yeah. Yeah, so I uh, saw you at the Crashers game. You're doing some emceeing. How are they doing? Uh, did they win? Like Better that? than the Leafs. You know why? Because you're going to make the playoffs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, none of that, really? <laughs> Come on. Jeez. Hey. Jeez. <laughs> He means about, well, you're a Habs fan. I was going to say, yeah, well, the Habs are already out of the playoffs. So oh, that's okay. kind of, that ship has sailed. Right They're now. almost as bad as us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's upsetting. You ruined it. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, what we were talking about is how we, much we like the Crushers, not yes, about yeah. the Leafs. Right? Okay, yeah. we'll still drop the Leafs for yeah. a second. So the Crushers are in the playoffs. Yes, Crushers clinched last night. Um, just, just to, yeah, so they're, they're going to be in the playoffs. They've got a game tonight. They've got a game tomorrow night, but... Yeah, man, they got a chance at the, the championship this year, so that's yeah. wicked. That's awesome, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Uh, go Crushers, there we go. Yeah, um, we can agree on that. But no, uh, you know, the, the boys are playing hard, and uh, it, it's it's so exciting. Hockey in Pictou County is unbelievable. I mean, if you ever been, like, this, this weekend at the Wellness Center, there's over 900 kids playing. They've got yeah. the female tournament. They've got yeah. the Bantams playing. They've got the Major Midgets got a game. It's it's incredible. 900 mm -hmm. kids playing puck at the Wellness Center. So if you want something to do, you can go down there and check it out. Uh, and then, of course, next week. Yeah, yeah next week playoff. I don't hockey. think there's room for anyone else. 900 kids playing. Yeah, it's crazy. Eh? There's a lot of... <laughs> <laughs> a lot of passing. A lot of passing, yeah. A lot of tumble <laughs> hockey, which yeah. is fun. Yeah. Chase the puck. Now, when I saw you when there was a fight... And then they both went to the box, and you were between, like, you were Pierre Maguire. Yes. And these guys were in the box chirping each other. What kind of nice things were they saying to each other? Oh, uh, how's she going, boy? What do you want for dinner tonight? Do you want to go? Uh, do you want to go to Picto? Maybe get some breakfast there in the oh, morning or something like that. Picto, yeah. Oh yeah, you know they're just discussing. You know, a lot of them are friends. You know, like yeah. stuff like that. You want to drive home after the rink? We'll stop at you know Horton's, cup of coffee, something like that. <laughs> double double. Yeah. yeah um, but uh, you know, kids are a lot. Um, it wasn't all respectful. It wasn't all respectful, no, yeah. No. Yeah. They weren't saying, it was a lot of, where are you from? And then once they kind of came to a conclusion of where each other were from, then that's when the it's insults on. started flying. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, you know, it's, it's Crusher's games are fun. And, yeah. and sports your minor hockey teams. It's about it. Definitely. Yeah. yeah, do it. You're you're a big Crusher's fan, too, right? Uh, yeah. Right, Ray? Yeah, Pictou County, but Way to be, bud. I'm a, I'm a Pictou County fan. I would cheer for the darts and quilt tournaments and stuff. <laughs> Wash and toss tournaments yeah. this summer, bud. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah. Nip, nip, nip. <laughs> go to your local fire department. Go to your local legion. I'm sure you'll find a nice uh, 3 a.m. Wash and toss tournament down there. Okay. Yeah. Very cool here. <laughs> Yeah. The best egg salad sandwiches you'll ever have, too. They got the softest bread in the world over there, man. I'm telling you, my gosh. They put onions in that? Because that's no go. You can spit those on the floor, though, if you want, right? Yeah. Sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds. There you go. Yeah. You got a beer going or what? I got a beer going, yeah. You right, got so one going? You're yeah. almost done that. Well, one. I only had one. So. You're nursing it, though. I am. There's only one or so. Mm. Um, yeah, I usually play a drinking game with my guest. Oh, so yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> so if you, All right. we're going to just list things. And if you can't get one, I gotta get you have to here. drink or, well, oh, yeah, I'm getting ready. Yeah, oh, I got to get ready. <laughs> Not that intense. Here Jeez. we go. Well, I'm fun. taking this very seriously, Ray. I don't, okay. <laughs> All right. All right. We're going to list things or places in Pictou County that you can have a beer 
that aren't a liquor store. And I'll go first. I'll say the thistle. Oh my gosh. Like <laughs> all the time have a beer or just like sneaky have a beer? No, you can have a beer that they sell you. <laughs> all right. Uh, okay. <laughs> but there's other places. Hmm. Uh, wellness center. There you go. Oh yeah. The Glasgow Square. Oh, local <laughs> shout out. Here we go. <laughs> what? We can have beer here? What? <laughs> it's like people running up. <laughs> Um, place you can have a beer, uh, if we're named bar, I'll say the Legion. Oh, Legion. What? <laughs> There's like 20 of those. Yeah, okay, Stella and Legion, are we going <laughs> to no, go here? We'll, right, just, we'll just stay All right, Legion. beautiful. All right, I'll go with, uh, Andre's Seats. Ooh, I like all the talk about Stellarton earlier, so I'm going to say the, uh, Stellarton Fire Hall. Yeah, we have to suck up to them now, because we said bad things. Exactly. Right? <laughs> it wasn't us, it was those guys over there. Uh, let's go with the, the Highlander. What you say? Ooh, the Highlander. All right, well, uh, well, the, the dock. Nice. The spot. The spot's a good one. Yeah, we got, we got like five seconds each time now. We're Shenanigans? Gonna, oh, it's my... Uh, you know. Well, you said the dock, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There well, we I'm, go. I want to. I'm going to drink I anyway. I want to. I want to. Me when you run out of beer. <laughs> Yeah. You you won't like the uh, the the interest on it though. Oh no, no. Too high. No. <laughs> <laughs> supposed to be a secret. <laughs> As you're speaking oh, on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, Alex, Surprising. for coming out. But thanks for your appreciate it, brother. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Severance, Johnny. Great Good to be, brother. Thanks, man. Cheers, brother. Yeah, cheers. Maybe that odd time signature wasn't such a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So everyone remembers when Don Cherry got fired from Hockey Night in Canada. Mixed reactions, I know. I know. We won't get into that. But along those lines, we decided to see what would happen if we held auditions for Pictou County Hockey Announcer. So here's what we came up with. Pictou County Hockey Auditions. <laughs> Damn near killed him. That's a good one, Paul. Why don't you just give me a minute before you send in the first applicant? How's it going? Good afternoon. As you know, we're looking for someone to announce the play-by-play -play for live broadcast of our hockey games. So we'd like you to read from a script, and maybe after that we'll get you to try a live play-by-play -play game here on the monitor. So why don't you try this out? And there we go with the second period. The home team has to pick it up if they want to get back into this one. It's been a tight check and fair, but the visitors are up to nothing. <clears throat> um, maybe you could start again. Welcome, welcome back of uh, hockey. Second, second. Here we go with the second period. The home team has to pick it up if they want to get back into this one. It's been a tight checking affair and the visitors are up two to zero. Uh, feeling kind, thank you. Just in just case. Uh, I've never really done anything like this before. I'm so nervous. <laughs> but home team has to pick it up if they want. Uh, oh man, it's hot. Can we, is there any air conditioning in here? Excuse me, you can't smoke that in here. <laughs> what are you drawing there, bite a rocket ship? <laughs> Look at the boosters on that one. Uh... How you doing? Uh, don't worry about this, it's not medicinal or anything. What's a good face? No, no, that's not how it should look. Let me get, show you. And here we go with the second period, bye. 
home team has to pick it up if they want to get the, back into this one. She's been a tight affair and the visitors are up to nothing. There. Want you to try and freestyle some color commentary. Color, eh? All right. So it's all about the euros and they're diving and they're whining and they're always lying down and the poppies. You know, it's about you, bitch. Oh, I don't think that this is going to work out. Uh... Oh, sorry. My guts are killing. I'm so nervous about this all day. I really want this. See, he's coming up the right side of the rink there. He's, looks like he's got the, the left skate on the right side. Like he's got a trip coming up here. I can't believe you told me I couldn't smoke in here, man. Got anything to drink? Kind of dry. It's been a, a tight. It's been a tight check of the fair. You don't have anything to eat at all? Oh, this one's Team Canada, is it? All right, yeah, yeah. Patty Roy and Nets there, all right, yeah, all right. Robital and Lemieux and Gartner and the boys, yeah. All right, so Lemieux's going up the side. He puts it over to Gretzky, and it looks like it's going back to Lemieux. Drop pass, Gartner's coming in. He shoots, oh, it's a beaut. It's a goal right there. Good goal for the good old Canadian boys. My, I uh, oh, moved it, uh, but, but now it's, I can't see. These are pretty sweet headphones, man. You got Netflix on this thing? <clears throat> yeah. yeah, he's coming up the right side there. He's, he's coming down the rink. And feels weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Buddy's coming down the ice here. Yeah, yeah, over to what's his name? Back to Buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what a save by Buddy. What a save. I thought what's his name was going to get it in, but no, no, he ain't getting it past Buddy. All right, that other Buddy's taking it up the ice. Over to, uh, oh, what's his name? Yeah, yeah. And what, what's his name? Break away, break away. Go for what's his name. Go for what's his name. Oh, oh, geez, I need smoking beer after that one. Woo, what a goal. You understand this is for Pictou County hockey play-by-play? -play? Because that was perfection. Take a night. All right, I got an article from the Rolling Stone magazine here. The Collective is an electrifying ensemble consisting of six musicians and songwriters from New Glasgow who are making waves for their unique genre-defying blend of indie pop. Featuring an eclectic mix of electronic and organic sounds, their music is characterized by its danceable grooves, complex and layered vocal harmonies, and hooks that will stay in your head for as long after the band leaves the stage. You shouldn't put so many big words in here, guys. <laughs> All right, I got through it though. I only had one beer though, right? All right, so you might know them from their debut single, Beast, which was released in 2019 and it's available now on major streaming services, including Spotify and Apple Music. Uh, one of the members is sick today and could not make it. So yeah, she's uh, not gonna do it, but we got, we got some good stuff. She's pretty non-essential. We'll <laughs> <laughs> be fine. We don't need her. If, her, her husband can say it. I, I <laughs> <clears throat> the first song, Too Good, will be featured on the upcoming EP, The Collective. <laughs>
feel when you come near Got me so high, I'm seeing clear Tell me it's real, no more feeling blue Just like they say, too good to be true Come join us on the beautiful couch. Yeah. Yeah. Have you grab this thing and pass it around there? I am jealous. Yeah. This is I like it. Yeah, it's bigger. So we're just gonna talk about how sweet this couch is for a while because it's it's from the uh, grandmother's house of everyone. I definitely recognize it. So, who do we got here? Could you introduce yourselves, please? All right, so I'm Nikki, uh, vocals. I'm not Leah, we miss her. <laughs> Michelle, I'm on bass. Hey, I'm Kyle, I play the guitar. Uh, my name's Brett, I do a whole bunch of shit. Um, I play sax, I play keys, and I sing a little backup, too. I'm Jay, I play the drums. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I was going to say that your numbers are growing since before, but they, they shrunk. Literally, <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Um, I was just saying that you started as Lee and Kyle, and you grew. What was, what's the uh, chronology of this? Chronology? How far back do you want me to go? I have a well, pretty exciting birth story. <laughs> <laughs> no, we started, um, I guess, almost 10 years ago now. We started playing just like in our basement, just for fun. 
Uh, we moved here probably like six years ago now. Uh, we had a sick family member, his mother actually. Uh, we moved here to take care of her and at night we just go down in the basement and start playing and that's how our duo came to be. And yeah. we just started kind of picking these guys up along the way. And Brett ended up at our house really late one night and had a saxophone. And uh, that's, that's what he does. <laughs> I'm really not yeah. He we shows up at the band the saxophone. and uh, kept going from there. I guess yeah. uh, these two here, uh, Jay and Nikki on the end, uh, had a, yeah, I guess I should do this. I don't do this a lot. I don't, they don't give me a microphone. <laughs> uh, Jay and Nikki had an electronic duo called Hot Pixel. And we oh, thought yeah. it would be cool to try to merge some of those sounds together. Um, so you, you guys are a couple, and you guys are a couple, and you merge the couples, and... We're working on it. That's not where I was going. And I wasn't talking, I wasn't talking about merging, merging the couples that way. It was merging no. into a band, a collective, <laughs> per se. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah, you guys are killing it. Where are you guys playing these days? Um, we have a whole bunch of cool stuff lined up, actually. Um, so, I mean, we're playing here right now, so that's cool. <laughs> Did you guys know Thank that? You. you guys already knew that. Um, <laughs> just as of right now, this is new information. Uh, yeah, no, we've, uh, we're have we sort of starting to book. Um, look forward to some of our summer tour dates. Um, looking into some, uh, some, you know, some tour dates, some festival dates. Um, we've actually got some pretty cool stuff coming up, that some of which we can't really talk about. Just yet, but we have some, you know, cool announcements coming up over the next couple of months. Um, we are uh, playing, when are we playing next? What's our next show? Sean, tomorrow, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Well, Lee and Kyle and Michelle with her other oh, group, Trilogy. Sorry. Yeah, so the whole band isn't playing tomorrow, unfortunately. But, um, uh, yeah, Lee and Kyle are taking their duo act um, to a really special kind of intimate show at, uh, at Sean tomorrow night, um, yeah. along with Michelle and her awesome, amazing other group, Trilogy. Yeah. Um, well, you're welcome. You know it. Um, and uh, so that's going to be really cool. Um, after that, we're, we're doing a fundraiser at New Glasgow Academy uh, because obviously Kyle and Leah's kids go there. Uh, yeah, um, that's going to be cool. What's the deal? I've seen these gigs at schools. Like, how do they work? Like, how do they work? Yeah, do kids get to go there? And it's like, no, oh, yeah, no, it's an adult, uh, it's a pub day. <laughs> okay. Just <laughs> for the parents. Phew. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he said they get drunk in the gym. <laughs> and they used to do that in school, but now they get paid for it. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah. Um, we've yeah. got a couple of dates up in Halifax that we actually just uh, just booked. So we're really looking forward to that. Um, we haven't done as much playing up in the city as, as we would really have liked to um, lately. So I think we're, it's going to be good to get up there and, you know, Show our stuff to a whole new, whole new market, which yeah, is a lot of fun. Yeah, but you so. should just be playing Pictou County, bud. Well, yeah, exactly. It's Pictou County, bud. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's pretty much it. Do you know Wagon Wheel? Because that's what you're going to play in Halifax. <laughs> that's a, Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I actually, I'm still learning the sax part on that one, but um, yeah, man. Yeah. So I uh, saw you guys at the Jubilee last year. Killed it, of course. Uh, how'd, you, how'd you like that one? Honestly, it was kind of a damn dream, um, not something I ever expected to get to do, and I think it was Nikki, mine, and Kyle's first time playing there. Festival vibes, I'm sure any musician would agree, they're the most fun, and to have a festival like that with that kind of history you know, in our yeah. hometown, yeah, hometown. it was just amazing. It was a ton of fun. Yeah, and uh, was that, that was a night with 3MA and uh, Winter Sleep. Yeah. These guys were hanging out with 3MA really afterwards. Say, what? No, Brad can tell that. Tell us the story. Was, okay, so I actually, um, I may have hit Ria May with a door. Um, <laughs> so we were, <laughs> this happened. We're, uh, so the girls are in the dressing room, and, um, and they were, so we thought she was still on stage. And so the girls are, Nikki and Leah are in the, in the dressing room singing along with, I think Leah, I think Jenna was there too. Leah's yeah. sister Jenna was in there with them. Um, and they were singing along, um, harmonizing along with one of her songs. Um, and of course, she was in the dressing room next door, and we didn't realize this. And so all of a sudden, Ria May barges into our dressing room and is like, Holy shit! This is crazy. Um, you guys and then, know how to harmonize. And then I was running. I had gone to the bathroom or something. And I was coming back, and I just busted into the dressing room, and she's standing right in front of the door, just whack right in the back. It was, it was, it was a pretty uh, graceful that moment for everybody. So you busted um, into a woman's dressing room. Uh, okay, it was our dressing room. It was a band's dressing room. Just, just to be clear. Just to be clear. 
And uh, we oh, got yeah. Guy Lafleur picking up kids in stores. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna give the mic back to Michelle. Now. <laughs> yeah. Good. Good plan, buddy. <laughs> so, how long have you guys been going for, like, as the collective? Probably about a year, I think. A year and a half, maybe tops. Um, and yeah, we're having tons of fun with it, and I feel like the best is yet to come. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, can we can we hear another song there? Um, we're gonna hear from our sponsors first. We have a commercial coming up. In the Trenton Rink, heroes are made. This summer, it's all laid on the line. You have to decide: do you run or do you chase? I want to do it, man. I want to be the guy that people know as the guy who drew the ace. I know you can do it, man. I've seen you draw a thousand times. You're the best around. If you ask me, you can be the next Cecil McSpade. I'm freaking serious. You're never gonna make it. You're a bum, just like your father. Well, at least I'm gonna try. Ah! Are you Cecil McSpade? Oh, it's slow. I need to know how to chase the ace. They call this a game, but this is no game, boy. That ace took my eye. Try again. Again. Ah, oh, for Christ's sakes, it's right here. I gotta find out what happened to my father. He couldn't take the pressure. Drank a 40 of rum, drew the six of diamonds. I'm never gonna be like my father. For the love of Pete, Johnny, you think you're gonna walk among the greats? Chase the Ace, rated R. All right, their second song, In the Night, is set to be released May 2020 as the lead single from the band's upcoming album. One more time, The Collective.
Nothing's gotta be so petty. Time is all we need. Don't you push me, I'm not ready. All right, you guys want to come back and answer some That's more questions? <laughs> yeah, making it work. I like the way you work. <laughs> I didn't think anybody could hear that. <laughs> you guys didn't hear what I was doing back there, did you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nothing, nothing bad. Yeah, those are uh, originals, eh? They are. Oh, is it me again? <laughs> Why is it me? It's fine. They just think they're talking to me. You got to talk to them too. Hey guys. Like to hear me. So uh, who does the songwriting? Lyrically, it's a combination of Leah and I for the most part. Um, but we do like mostly when we write our songs, we present it to the band, and you know everybody has their input, and then collectively come together <laughs> and make some magical music. That joke has never been made. Before. <laughs> Wait a minute. It has been, hasn't it? <laughs> Who are your inspirations? Jeez. Um, wow. I think like we kind of pull from a lot of different genres and uh, everything we've heard throughout our lives, I guess. And, um, you're a big one. Aww. Obviously. Yeah. yeah, for sure. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Ray tired of her shout outs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we all sort of have it. That's one of the really cool things about working with this group. And it kind of touches on what Nikki said about the songwriting, too. It's such a collaborative experience. And we all sort of come from such vastly different backgrounds. Like, I mean, I know, like, I mean, Michelle, Michelle plays in a country band. Like, so that, well, not, they're not all country, but they, I mean, they, they do a lot of country. You know, Kyle, Kyle and Leah's, ori you know, original project was a, a blues, you know, it was, it was mainly blues driven. Yeah. Like, I come from, I have a jazz background. You know, Jay and Nikki have an electronic background. So, it's kind of, I think when you listen to our music, you can kind of hear that, the, the fusion of all those different, you know, Definitely. backgrounds, right? So, yeah. yeah. All right. Um, so what's next for you guys? You got a CD coming out? Yes. So we have a six song EP that's going to be end of May, May 29th, I think. We're going to try to do a little EP release show somewhere in the county. At the Glasgow Here, Square? Yes, yes, yes. Glasgow Square. So that's Woo! news. Yeah. So yeah, we're pretty much just wrapping up uh, tracking right now. Um, local studio, Cobweb Studios. Oh, I've heard you of that heard place. Of you might be aware of that place. Murray. My yeah. brother's place. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Murray. He is a man. And uh, <laughs> yeah, so get it mixed, get it mastered, and put her out there. <laughs> right on. Yeah. Sweet. And where can we find what you did so far, and where can we find the new stuff? Uh, well, all of our stuff, I mean, we're all about the digital, um, so we can, you can find us on any streaming service, Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, iTunes, Google, whatever, it's on there. YouTube, yeah, we're on YouTube. Yeah, you too. We're inside the computer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your exactly. computer, yeah. Um, yeah. Right on, guys. Thanks so much for coming. Yeah, it's absolutely. Thanks for having us. And uh, go be around afterwards for some tunes for you, fellas. I, uh, I have a question for the collective. Oh. So, 
I can't remember who brought it. Was it was it you, Matt? I I'd just like to know what you think about our our awesome couch. Because in my opinion, it's the best couch you can get. Everybody's grandmother had one, and it's wicked. Literally, the only reason we agreed to do this was because yeah. of the couch. <laughs> and, you know, I, I thought that. I said it's probably the couch. It was. So, must be the yeah, couch. I, I thought I saw this Perfect. on Gigi. You guys must have got you it before got me. Cause I, I put the bid in on it, and I never got, a, I never got an answer back. So. <laughs> Bastards. <laughs> it's a good thing I knew the fella. Jeez. All right, well, that's right. it for today. Thanks for watching. And the Collective. Stick around. The Collective is doing a set after the yeah. show. Our next episode is March 27th. Tickets are available, I believe, right now. If you want to come, check her out. Yeah, they're available right over there. And let's take her out. Green bins.